I try to expose the elite polytheists and how they promote their religion through art a lot on this channel. In doing this, they create a type of simulacra, which is a likeness or imitation, especially of a god, which gives the image of these characters energy and life. In the book of Jubilees, in chapter 11, it says, They made for themselves molten images, and they worshipped each the idol, graven images, and unclean simulacra, and malignant spirits assisted and seduced them into committing transgression and uncleanliness. And I have an example of this very thing that I will cover in the court painter to the Spanish crown, Francisco Goya, in this video. He painted the portrait I'm showing, and this is of Carlos, the fourth king of Spain and his family. Carlos the fourth is House of Bourbon and was king of Spain in the late 1700s and early 1800s. And I'll give a little background on how powerful this family is now. Carlos IV was House of Bourbon, a dynasty that originated in the Kingdom of France with a lot of the Louis, you know, the ones who are depicted as vampires in movies. A branch descended from the French Bourbons and came to rule Spain in the 18th century and is the current Spanish royal family. Juan Carlos, former king, murdered his brother by shooting him in the face and now his son, King Felipe of Spain, holds the King of Jerusalem title, which I cover a lot about that on this channel because Gary Wayne says whoever holds this title will likely be the AC candidate. Juan Carlos of the same house is the one who was hanging around Prince William a lot as a child, and some speculated that William was the son of Juan Carlos and Diana instead of Charles and Diana. This is the apex of the Spanish Empire in 1790. The Spanish Empire was a colonial empire that existed between 1492 and continuing for over three centuries, ushering in the European Age of Discovery with Christopher Columbus. At its great extent in the late 1700s and early 1800s, during the reign of Charles IV, who was the painting that I showed earlier, the Spanish Empire was one of the largest empires in history. This is a painting of Carlos Domingo of the House of Bourbon, second son of Charles the Fourth. Son. Not by the same painter, but I had to show this because holy hell, why is he wearing a dress? Any doubt where the current trans movement originates? But Francisco Goya, who this video is going to be about, is the person who also painted this painting of Saturn devouring his son, which is considered by some to be one of the most terrifying works in the history of art. And I found these last two demoniacs who call themselves artists from a YouTube channel which came up in my feed, and this channel pretends to review some of these painters but doesn't do any real exposure about who they serve, but rather reviews them in a positive light and is selling reproductions of some of these disgusting paintings from this artist and a friend said that this channel also appeared in his feed and said that the AI much must be pushing this channel and that's a good observation that channel has 26,000 subscribers and if you believe the likes and comments some of those people will pro probably buy those reproductions and this is obviously not good because of the simulacra effect and the channel producers whoever they are likely know that is my assumption now on to Francisco Goya, the court painter to the Spanish crown. From my estimation, looking online, I think this guy has done at least 100 paintings of Spanish royalty, and maybe half the male portraits are painted with a hidden hand, and we'll look at some of those. But we're going to start on some of his earlier works, which he did before he was hired to paint those royals, you know, including the House of Bourbon family of Carlos IV of the Spanish Empire, the huge one that we showed before. So we're starting in 1771. These are some of his paintings, The Witch's Sabbath, Sacrifice to Pan, Sacrifice to Vesta, the Roman goddess, The Rape of Europa, Adoration of the Name of God, 
which I didn't know God was a triangle. The Witch's Flight, Incantation, The Devil's Lamp, The Witch's Kitchen. So then after this, he began his career as a court painter for the Spanish crown in the 1780s. So we'll go over the Bourbons first, some of the ones that I found. Louis de Bourbon. Again, the Bourbons are a Spanish royal house that are, you know, probably vampires. Fernando de Bourbon. Now that's Fernando de Bourbon. Louis. Louisa de Bourbon. Now we'll get into some of the ones that have the hidden hand. This is a uh, Duke of Suna. Jose Monino, a count. Charles III of Spain. Francisco Xavier, hidden hand. Hidden hand again. Hidden hand on a child. Osorio count. This is going to be uh, St. Francis or Gia on the deathbed of someone. I think he was a Jesuit. And then again an individual painting of Charles IV, same one that was in the family portrait at the beginning that I covered. So I think there's at least a hundred paintings that this guy did of the royals, many of them with a hidden hand, and I only showed a few. And after all the witchy paintings, he was hired to do this by the royals, you see. So they knew his work, they knew who he was, you know, they partnered in that effort. So then after that, things got really dark. In 1808, he retreated to Madrid, where he lived in near total isolation while working on the black paintings, which the Saturn eating the child is part of that black painting, you know, category. And I'm going to look at a few more here. This is um, the Witch's Sabbath, which he did after working for the royals. This is a... El Colosso. It's a giant. Here's another one of the black, dark paintings. There's another one. There's another one. And this one is called Ghostly Vision. And it's thought to have been painted in 1801 and was part of a collection of some Spanish count in Zaragoza, Spain. And then it was dedicated by someone who wanted to remain anonymous to the Museum of Zaragoza in Spain. So is it starting to sink in that these people are Satanists? I mean, if you listen to some of the reviews of this painter, they're going to say the reason that he painted the Saturn cannibalizing the child is because he was disturbed by the wars in Europe. But they don't mention the fact that he was painting witches and sacrifices to pagan gods before he was hired to paint the portraits of the crown of the very powerful Bourbon family, considering what I showed about the Spanish Empire. And then he goes full dark again. He was definitely possessed by some demons, even before he went to work for the aristocracy. But then definitely after, it seems he got worse. They say that art is an expression of whatever is inside of a person coming out. Apparently, Goya died in isolation and in a crazy, demonized state. So don't do anything these people say. They are devil worshippers. Thanks for listening.